Previet comrades. Uh, if you just watched the video right before this, uh, actually this one may upload faster because it's just gonna be shorter, I'm sure. But I'm in the same exact location. I literally haven't moved at all. I just moved my phone. So <laughs> that that says enough. But um, I talk about something interesting for this video. Kind of a deep one that I haven't been doing in a while, but also not a deep one. If you get, if you get my drift. Um, basically, I have a professor of philosophy. And I think I touched on him before. I'm not sure if I did or not. But he uses philosophy to prove his religion. And I'm sure, I'm sure that's a common thing, but he'll use, like, Aristotle found proof of God through this way. And I'm just like, uh, okay, okay um, he found what he believed to be tr proof of God. I'm not saying he's wrong, I'm not saying he's right. But it's not, like, definite, we have absolute proof of God because Aristotle found it. Like, no, you know, or he'll say something like, you know, um, was it Descartes? Um, Descartes doubted the belief of God. But he obviously, but that was obviously wrong, and he was proven wrong when this new theory came out, you know, things like that. And I'm just like, uh, you know, like, I don't know. Or he doesn't like um, Nietzsche, um, because Nietzsche is not Christian or whatever. And I'm just like, stop. I mean, like, yeah, that's a big, big part of, you know, the belief, but... I think you can pick and choose for philosophy. Like, you know, like, yeah, I believe the reason for the universe is this, this person's one. But I like how this person explains God, you know, or whatever it might be. Like, you don't have to just be like 100% sticking to Nietzsche. Like, we don't even do that with politicians. You know, we, so, you know, it's, I don't know, he wants to like prove every, prove God through them. And it seems to be his main focus on all of them. And I don't know, maybe the books are really focused on God and every single one of them, but it seems kind of, strange every single one would be, you know? But he is an actual priest or, what was it? Um, a clergy member or something like that. I don't know what the official thing was, but he has the little white cummerbund looking thing. Cummerbund's on its stomach, isn't it? Well, you know, it's, it's full, like, black outfit and they have, like, this and then they have this put together and a big white band around here. I don't remember what those are called. I don't know. It looks weird. Clergy guard, I think is what they're called. But, um, he comes into class wearing that a lot, and it's like... But, uh... uh. Anyway, um... He's a weird teacher, but... You know, it, it's inter interesting. I just, every time he talks about religion, I'm just like, shut up! I'm like, the rest of his class is great and interesting, and I love hearing about different theories and things like that, but it's like, when he's just like, and we found proof of God through this, I'm just like, please, stop. 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 No. But, um... What he said one class made me kind of angry. Um, how he did it is um, he went through and he says, you know, what we know about God is what God isn't. You know, God isn't a tree. God isn't, um, well, some religions would say he is a tree, but you know, he said like, something like God isn't imperfect. God isn't. Um, ugly, like God, you know, we can't say God is perfect because we can't describe perfect without imperfections. You know, like that's that's kind of his point there. But he's like, basically, we know if God exists, he did the if he was trying to be good there. But uh, he's like, if God exists, we know he's nothing like Odin or Thor or someone like that. I'm just like, no, 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 mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. and that just made me go like, oh fuck you. You know, especially since Odin has such a personal history to me, coming from Odinism, and then the fact that with my schizophrenic stuff, that was my grandpa, and I'm like, no, 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 you don't, you don't talk about Odin, first of all. Second of all, you just denied two major religions, um, you know, Odinism. And then I forget what the followers of Zeus are called. But, you know, things like that. Like, mm. And again, that's also a not true statement. Is thing, well, we go, God is perfect, you know? And I'm just like, God doesn't have faults. God is, you know, did it. And I'm just like, no, no, no. A lot of religions would disagree with that. There's a lot that, you know, believe God is perfect and infallible or whatever. But a lot of them, like, um, the one I follow, uh, gods are fucked up. Uh, they're basically people with powers who can do whatever the hell they want. But... There's a few of them who are still good and try to protect humanity. They mess up. 
but they're basically human just with extra abilities and that's more of what mine is um so like um a set which is the one i follow which is that right there more commonly known as isis unfortunately there's some there are some big differences between a set and isis but a lot of people group them as the same one because they wore have the same symbol so whatever but um it's like my little necklace says isis on it but i i do a set not isis there's a reason there's a different name and it's they're both Egyptian names that proves that there is a difference between them, you know, but, um, but, you know, like, my religion, I believe there is, there is, um, Basset and Hades and Zeus, and I kind of mix them, you know, I'm not just Egyptian, I also believe in the Roman and the Greek, and I believe all of those gods exist. In fact, I believe every single religion is true. Like, yeah, there is a god that's basically speaking to you through the, through the trees. There is reincarnation. There is, um, there is a god in heaven. There is a god um, on Mount Olympus. Like you know, there is a god in um, in Asgard. Like there, I believe all these gods are true, and it's just who you choose to follow. And no one's wrong in any way because yeah, these gods are real, but it's who you want to worship. And my thing is, I don't really worship, which is more of. Um, the Asadi, Aseti, which is mine, that's more of our belief. We don't really worship her. It's more of, we understand that she's trying to protect us, and we're giving her support. Like little cheerleaders, more or less. Like, you know, oh man, that was a bad run, but you're, you're still fighting. Come on. Good, you can do it. Woo! You know, we're cheering you on. And that's more of it is. It's not like I'm bowing down and worshipping and everything else. So, my God is with faults. So, basically the point of that, you know, he's saying, you know, these, first of all, he's denying Zeus and Odin. But also he's saying God is without faults. And it's like, no, no, no. Especially the bad gods in our religion, you know. Like, um... Well, I mean, like, Zeus. Zeus is an asshole in our, like, our religion. Like, he's one of the worst people ever. But he's still a god. So, yeah, he's with faults. He did a lot of faults. So, you know, I think... So, I think his mind is he only thinks about the... Judeo Christian God, and no one else like that. And it's like, yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of other religions that are the way. I think Muslims also believe in a perfect God, but there's so many other ones who do not believe in a perfect God at all. Um, and again, he's saying God all the time. And I'm like, there's gods, uh, plural, in a lot more religions than, you know, yeah, they're not as popular, I guess you would say, at least in uh, America. But, um, there's a lot of gods, <laughs> and a lot, of, you know, most religions are poly, uh, polytheistic, you have multiple gods, um, and people will be like, what, no, we know, we, Christianity is really popular, and it's like, yeah, Christianity is popular, that doesn't mean, there's only like two or three that actually are monotheistic, which is one god, majority are poly, and, um, and you could say, well, Catholicism, Judaism, Christianity, you, you do, but Catholicism is a part of Christianity, Christianity is an overhead for anyone who believes in God and Jesus. That's all Christianity means. Um, well, and follow their teachings or anything else. But um, so Catholicism is a part of Christianity. It's just more strict than uh, non-dominational Christianity. And um, in Ju Judeo, Juda Judaism, is basically you only believe in God. There was a prophet named Jesus who did these great things, but he was not the son of God. Uh, I don't even—I don't know if they do about the of Jesus reborn or not, but um, you know, yeah, I know my stuff at least about Christianity. I was raised in Sunday school. I know all this stuff, so don't be just saying, "Oh, you just don't understand Jesus." You know, if you if you actually learned about him, no, I know a lot about him. I just don't follow him. I believe he's real. Yeah, I believe he's real. I believe he's kind of a dick. But I believe he's real, and I'm sure that's like, blasphemy, you called Jesus a dick. Well, he is. But, again, that's my belief, that's my opinion. I'm not shunning anyone. You can believe in Jesus. I don't care. If you're a nice person, it doesn't matter what you believe in. If you're a horrible person, horrible, horrible person, because your religion tells you to be, then fuck that religion. Your God's going to hell. Well, that's an ironic thing to say there, but I mean, like, your God's horrible if he's wanting you to do something that's so bad. Like, people who use their religion to hate homosexuals. 
if your religion truly says to hate homosexuals, then your religion is horrible, plain and simple. If your religion says to hate anyone, it's horrible, plain and simple. Uh, and so people were like, oh, you're against Christianity. That's debatable. The newer Christianity is very much for homosexuals and everyone else, and it's very open. And I don't know if they ever made a new Bible or not. I think they just cut out the bad parts. So people were like, you just can't pick and choose. And it's like, okay. Uh, if you believe really it's the word of God, maybe it would be a little iffy, but maybe God spoke to someone, Revelation, you know, and told them that he wanted to cancel these parts out. You know, it's basically, there's any way to spin it, but um, if you're one that's accepting and kind and stuff to people, then I don't care what you worship. You could worship a shopping cart. That shopping cart's your God. Okay, I'll make sure I won't touch it. I won't mess with it. I won't, you know, I won't kick it. I'm going to respect your God. If you bow to your God, I'm going to bow to it as I walk by. Like, I'm going to be respectful. Um, but if your God says that I need to be stoned to death, then fuck you. <laughs> I mean, that's plain and simple there. But that's that's getting off track. But again, I'm not against any religion. And I'm against violent people who use religion as an excuse for their violence or hatefulness. Uh, difference between bigotry... Oh, no. Difference between prejudice and discrimination. Prejudice... You hate a certain group of people. Discrimination, you enact things that limit the certain group of people. Uh, and examples of that prejudice would be like, um, well, actually, no, let me give two more things. You can be prejudiced and discriminatory. You can be, um, you can be discriminatory. I mean, you can be prejudiced and not discriminatory. You can be discriminatory alone. Or you can be what they call, um, a liberal. I think there's a special... It's like a pure liberal or something like that. I don't know what the fish thing is, but it's basically liberal. And so now the examples of each of these, um, just prejudice would be like, man, you hate those Mexicans, but you're just going to quietly sulk to yourself. Uh, discrimination would be like, I have no problem against black people, but I know my boss is very, very racist. So, if, And he's wanting me to hire a new employee. So if I hire a black person, I'm going to look horrible in his eyes. So even though I have no problem with them, I'm not going to hire them. Um, or another thing would be like, you know, I'm sorry, I have no problem with Muslims, but my boss says they can't come in the store. You know, things like that. Um, those are two really big things in the news right now. But, you know, or I'm sorry, I really want to make a cake for your gay wedding, but my boss won't let me. You know, there's things like that, and it's... People are debating if that's part of the problem because you're not, you're not fighting. You know, you're not. I mean, fix the AC here. I don't know why I shine my. I'm shining a light, so I'm sorry. I'm not like trying to get you guys to be like, look at my thing. But okay, uh, I'll do that. Okay, but um, so people say it's part of the problem because you're not. You know, if you're not fighting hate, you're part of the problem, and that's a common thing. But I'm not going to get into if that's true or not, or if I believe that's true or not. But basically, that's. I can be prejudiced or discriminatory alone. Together is the more commonly known one people know. I hate Mexicans and I'm gonna be shooting at them. Or maybe even not that violent. Um, I hate Muslims so I'm not allowing in my store. You know, back to that Muslim thing. So it gets to a thing like that um, where you can be both or neither or whatever. And basically my thing is that if your religion makes you have prejudice, you suck. It doesn't matter if you're discriminatory or not. Um, if you truly believe someone is less than you, then you're a horrible person. And people are like, wait, wait, contradictory then, because you believe those people are less than you. And it may seem contradictory that way. But I ve that's kind of a thing to it basically um if you hate anyone uh solely because of something they did they didn't even do like that's what the thing is if they do a horrible thing and you hate them that's something if you heard that maybe this person somewhere did a bad thing maybe they're maybe someone of that color did something like that so i hate all of them now that's where it'd be bad so it's like That'd be like if I went and um, I can hate someone who happens to be Christian. But it's not like that was a really bad Christian, so I hate all Christians, you know? 
that, that's more of the difference, I think, between them. And maybe I'm rambling, I don't know. But I love how I've gotten really off topic here. But basically, you know, don't be like that. But back to my philosophy professor. Whew. But, um, so yeah, he is, he said those things. And um, I emailed him kind of just to make him mad. And, you know, kind of be in his face to see what he would do. I was kind of iffy about spending it, because I didn't want to be a dick, but, you know, no. But I was, like, really polite, like, sir. And, you know, I did it, and I was, like, proper language and everything else. And he was, like, a thesaurus to make it, like, really fancy words. Like, I was being a dork. But, um, I basically was, like, you know, have you, uh, a lot of these philosophers have tried to prove or disprove uh, monotheism. Do you know of any that have tried to prove or disprove polytheism? And, you know, something simple as that is basically what I went to. And he responded, you know, not... Uh, he says polytheism is pretty much non-existent in Western culture. Which, you know, what they consider the U.S. It's like that. And so I'm like, mm, True, it's not the most common. But uh, I'm sure a lot of Native Americans... Um, you know, uh, Mexico is considered part of Western culture. And there are... There's a lot of Catholics in Mexico, and there's a lot of everything, I'm sure, but uh, any natives, it seems, from any country, uh, the native Inuits in Alaska, um, Native Americans, uh, which is kind of anywhere, um, the native Canadians, I don't know what they're called, they may be Inuits as well, I don't know, I'm sorry about that. I don't really know, but, you know, are the Mayans, the Aztecs, or anything else, you may not be, dr like, direct descendants, but if you have any of the blood in it, but... Basically what I'm saying is that a lot of them aren't monotheistic. Or at least they weren't raised that way originally. Their parents may have became monotheistic later on, and, um... Sorry. Monotheistic later on, and they taught them everything else, and da-da-da. So they may have been raised monotheistic now, but, um... Most of them don't start out that way. Uh, and I mean, like, the tribe itself. Like, you know, it could be that there's some now that have never even heard of the ancient ones. And I'm sure that's possible. But the most common thing, usually, is that they learn, at least as a history lesson, about the old stuff. But, basically, what I'm getting to is that polytheism, it's not as in the much in the news, but it's still very common. Uh, you just... We aren't out in public about it because... We don't have churches. Um, we don't really have temples. We we do have a few temples. They're usually only in Egypt and stuff, though. But um, we don't really have these things, you know. Um, closest Wiccan is a really common uh, polytheistic religion. And people be like, poly? Uh, and that is a little debatable there if it's poly or not. It does believe in a mother. And some parts of it believe in a father, but not all of them. Um, and also believes mother... Like, nature itself is part of a godly force. So, is it really poly? Is it mono? It's an iffy thing there. Christianity, I kind of look at that, and I think it's... It sounds pretty much poly. But I know that they don't believe that it is. Because the Father, Son, the Holy Ghost. You know... But I guess it's saying Jesus isn't really a god. He's more of um, a demigod, I guess you could say. Um, so, maybe that's why. But, you know, it just seems kind of... Mm, I think everything's poly, in a way. But you know what I mean. Uh, I was, you know, just asked something like that. And, um, you know, he was like, I don't know of any. Um, but I would love to discuss this with you. And I'm just like, okay. <laughs> like, oops, no. But uh, he, he didn't bring it up ever again. So I was like, okay, cool. Because I, I wasn't going to reach out and talk to him. Plus, you know, I'm busy. Busy, busy, busy. But uh, basically, you know, I think he forgot is what I thought. Um, but then he sent me a friend request on Facebook, which was really strange, really weird, for a lot of reasons. Um, one, yeah, we have our email through his school. But it's a school email. It's not the same one I set up Facebook with. Uh, two, my name is really common, especially my last name. Um, so I've I've done a search before, and it's like hundreds and hundreds of results. So the only way he could have known it was me is by looking at my picture, or if we had a mutual friend. And it did say we had one mutual friend. 
I don't know if that was before or after I added him, because I accepted him. But I looked at it today, and I was like, oh, there's a mutual friend. He may have added another person. But I thought it was really strange, because I was like, uh, it's not illegal. And from what I... People are like, it's a fine line. Because, you know, half people are saying, no, it's not illegal. And other half are saying, it's legal, but insanely frowned upon. So I don't know. But I know in high school, it was illegal to be friends with your professor. Or teacher at that point. You wouldn't be professor. No matter if you're 18 or older, it, you still are not allowed to be friends with this professor. Teacher. Um, I'm in college mode right now. But you are not allowed to be friends with your teacher. And it could be professor. You could be... Um, uh, you could be an avid or something like that. Not avid, but um, dual credit, things like that. But you know what I mean. You're a teacher. You're not supposed to be friends with them. You can't be Facebook friends. You can't have each other's phone number. You do not talk to your teacher outside of class. Maybe you go early and talk to them. But you do not hang out with them. Ever, ever, no. Even as a whole class, you do not go out and hang out without the whole school knowing. Permission form signed. Even in high school. You do not hang out with this teacher. No. That's why there's so many cases of student-teacher relationships where they get in huge trouble, even though the student is over 18, which high school is an iffy thing there because, you know, you're between the ages of 17 and, in some cases, 21. Uh, but usually, you know, it's around 17, 18, 19, especially your senior year. So you kind of are, you're legal, but you're not. Like, you're legally able to date that person if they weren't your teacher. And from what I hear, I'm not sure the exact law goes. I'm not sure if it's you can be friends with them as long as they're not your teacher personally, or if you can't be friends with them as long as you even go to the same school that they work in. I'm not sure. But I know that it's you can't have special treatment, which is why a father cannot teach his daughter in a public education thing. I mean, I'm sure homeschooling, homeschooling's a thing, but she cannot have, like, let's say his father teaches math. That girl cannot have that teacher for math. She has to have a different one. And it's special treatment things or different treatment because a lot of times they're more strict on their kids. You know, you don't want that, but, um, you know, just... So that's the reason why they don't want you to be friends with them either because they just want different treatment. They don't want... They basically don't want emotions mixed in with everything, and I get that completely. You know, don't don't bring in emotions and stuff, you know. Once you start being friends or fighting or anything else, it's, oh, it's going to be a mess. Don't bring in emotions. And that's impossible to keep emotions out. So they want to get as much chance as you can to keep emotions out, you know. But, basically, that was the rule in um, high school. And so people, you know, are not sure if you can do it in college or not. And I think college would be more lenient and you can be friends with the professor as long as they're not your current professor. I think they'd be more lenient in that thing than they would in high school. But I don't know. So I was like, am I even allowed to be Facebook friends with him? He's my professor. You know, like, I don't know if I'm illegally allowed to do this. And I was like, oh, okay, okay. If I if I get arrested, I, I, or, you know, like, oh, because people do, they get arrested or juvie or if they're, if they're young enough or huge fines and the teachers almost always go to jail. Even if they're not, a, like, a romantic relationship or anything else. Even if they're just friends. The teacher almost always goes to jail. They definitely always lose their job. But it's... Or pro and probation, I think, in the best case. But, like, it's not a good situation for anyone. So I was like, oh, I don't want to get kicked out of the university or anything like that. So I was like, okay. <laughs> um, he hasn't commented on any of my posts or anything like that since I added him. So I don't... He hasn't really posted anything since then either. So I don't know. Maybe he's just watching me. Maybe it's his, his little sign that, you know, I want to get to know you and talk about this polytheism thing. And I don't think he wants to be friendly about it. I think he wants to, like, it says debate. I'm, I'm sure he's going to do, like, it's a debate, but it's going to be, like, I'm right and this is why. Why am I not growing anything right there? Hmm. No, it's weird because I grow it out fine, perfectly fine. It's all over. The faint, you know, faint thing. Uh, the faint, like, d dusting or whatever, five o'clock shadow thing. And then the rest grows longer and that part doesn't. Maybe it's just slower. They call it the reverse Hitler because it's like right there. You know, you don't grow there. My dad has the same issue. No shave November, guys. That's alive. Trimmed it a lot, but I haven't shaved. I haven't taken out a razor. Um, but <laughs> oh my gosh. Oof. But yeah. So he, 
added me on Facebook, and I was like, I don't know if that's legal or not. It's kind of creepy. Like, I, I don't want to be your friend. Uh, I don't even talk in class other than the email, so I'm sure that's what it's about. But I'm like, I don't want to be your friend. So I asked even my other classmates, especially the ones who talk in class. I was like, did he ever send you a Facebook request? And they're like, no. Like, even the girl that, you know, he always is talking in class, and she's, like, agreeing with everything he says, everything like that. Even she didn't get one, so I was like, this is kind of creepy. Like, don't don't talk to me. But just since he went out of the way to try so hard to find me, and so... Um, he may be knowing these videos now. I don't really talk about it on Facebook, so... I don't know, but... It's really creepy. Uh, I do have a link to my channel on Facebook. No, I think it's with the old name, so it wouldn't work now. Uh, but... The whole trans fandom cosplay. Oh my! I remember that old name. Um, actually, maybe random crazy nacho love, which is what I had before this. If you guys didn't know that, you can look at my old videos. And it says you are now watching a video by random crazy nacho love. Enjoy, you know things like that. And it was dorky stuff. <coughs> I'm sorry. Mm. But yeah, um, random crazy nacho love. Uh, so. Basically, he sought me, sought me out, which is kind of weird. And then he told, he asked the whole class if he would like to, he's having a party at his house, a philosophy party. Oh, great. That just sounds like debate and debate and debate, which I kind of always wanted to go to one. I always pictured college parties as like, well, I concur that this is correct. Well, I understand your reasoning, but I, because of this reasoning, I think this is correct. Mm, that's a good reason. That's a good reason. Which is funny because everyone else pictures college parties as like drinking, partying, going wild. But I've always pictured it as like philosophical discussion. So I was like, ooh. But then I didn't want to be the only one that showed up. But then a lot of people signed up saying they were going. A lot of people signed up there bringing stuff, which is really cool. I want to go. But at the same time, I don't know if I'm going to get the day off. And if I'm wanting to ask anything for Thanksgiving, then I won't be able to get this day off as well, most likely. It'll be asking too much. But on December 1... Is how he phrased it. Not even December 1st. He's, on December 1, and we all were laughing at him and stuff, but um, he doesn't. I don't know if he gets it or not, or if he just thinks we were having fun. I don't know. Like, because he, he kept using it like that. So I don't know if he was trying to engage us, or if he legitimately didn't get that it was funny. But on December 1, like, okay, good job. So I kind of want to go, but then also I don't want to be like bound bored and be like, da -da 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 -da, asking me questions. So I'm like, don't talk to me. <laughs> don't talk to me. But um, it'd be kind of cool if I could get my friend to go. I have this friend that's also um, polytheistic. Um, and hers is more kind of similar to mine. Like, they all kind of exist. You just worship who you choose to worship. Uh, she's more about reincarnation, soulmates, things like that. But um, no, no real god in particular. So I guess it's kind of like the um, Native American thing, kind of. You know, where it's the spirit, the trees, everything else. I say Native American, that's probably insultive. A lot of natives tend to have a belief that uh, the environment them itself is a godlike force. And just at least from what I've read and heard like that. So again, that could be a stereotype there, but um, a lot of the... Uh, I've heard a lot of religions that are like that. Wiccanism is like that. Um, a lot of people just worship the earth and everything else. They don't really worship the goddess. So, you know, it, it's again, it's... Wiccan's kind of a big category, too. Um, it's like Christianity, I told you, has Catholicism, has... Um, Jehovah Witness, like all this stuff is part of Christianity. Wiccan has um, Mother Nature, um, White Witch, Black Witch. That is not a race issue. Throwing that out there. Um, there is Blood Witch. There's other things. But yeah, if you are, a lot of people say I'm Wiccan. The correct term is I'm a witch. But it's such a bad connotation to say I'm a witch. You know, people are like, this isn't Halloween. Uh, so it's easier to say Wiccan. I am Wiccan. Or I, I believe Wicca. There you go. That's the... Because Wicca is the fish na official name, but it's not called Wiccanism or anything. Like that. It's called Wicca. Um, I usually just say that um, I'm... That um, I'm polytheistic. Or I say uh, I'm pagan. Pagan is the most common one I say. Pagan just means anything that is not Christianity or Judaism. Like, not, I'm not even saying, kidding. Paganism is literally anything that is not Judaism or Christianity. I'm sure there's one or two others that are out of there. But it's basically overhead for poly thing. It may just be only polys. I don't know. I don't know about that. But paganism, so I usually just say I'm pagan. Uh, it's easier to explain, uh, especially the people I don't want to talk to. Like, I'm just pagan. Go away. <laughs> I don't want to explain everything else to you. But, um, 
Yeah, so he's having a party, which sounds interesting. And I kind of, I mean, I really want to go, but I don't want to be like, yeah, I'm going, and then not get the day off. But he's like, burgers and hot dogs, there'll be vegan options, and did it, and I'm just like, that sounds fun. I don't know. I was kind of freaked out about it, because I was like, he's inviting me to his party at his house. He's adding me on Facebook. He wants to discuss, which, I mean, anyone will want to discuss, but I'm just like, it sounds like he's trying to get with me. And my friends are very much agreeing with that. Um, he wanted to be my, his special guest of honor for me. And I was like, oh, that sounds very sexual. But I know he has a wife and a, a daughter, but again, that doesn't say much. People are bi, people. Um, he knows I'm trans, so he could say he's straight and I'm still technically a girl to him. Um... Or people fake gay to appeal to the gay community. People fake straight, uh, even have kids and everything, um, but secretly want a gay lover or something like that. You know, like, there's so many different categories there, but it's like, mm-hmm. I do know if, now it's sounding like I'm kind of overreacting, but my friends seem pretty sure it's gonna, he's gonna try something, they say don't go alone. Uh, so maybe well, I'm going to bring one of my friends, but, um, he said, you know, friends are welcome, more the merrier, you know, thing. So I don't, I don't know, it'll, I really want to go, but I'm kind of, uh, about it. I, be disappointed if I don't get the time off to do it, because he's going to do it, I think, at five o'clock at night, and I don't know how long it's going to last. But I'll be kind of disappointed if I don't get the time off, but I'm not going to ask for it, I don't think. So it's, you know, whatever, but, um... I think it'll be cool. But yeah, so it's kind of a weird situation with my philosophy professor. I, ended, I thought this video was going to be like five minutes at most, and I've already hit almost my time up mark. But um, and that's on my phone. That's not like YouTube. YouTube will let me go on for hours and hours. Um, but my phone only gets me to 33 minutes or something like that, and, it, and then it cuts off for 33 points, something. I don't know. But it cuts off the video, and it's just, you know, and this starts a new video. Like, it won't stop my recording. But you know what I mean. Um, I don't want to talk too much, because it's about 32 minutes right now. But, there you go. I'd love to hear your opinions on this. It sounds kind of creepy, but it also sounds like fun. I don't know. Well, TFCom signing off. Bye.